Hi guys, uh, Sharat again. So in the last video, we saw how we can use Jekyll templating to simplify our website. We created a default layout, page layout to take advantage of that. And also we created the includes folder and we created some of the HTML files that we can drag from the include folder and include it anywhere on the website. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, Markdown. So Markdown is a uh, is a markup language just like HTML. Finally, a markdown will be rendered into a HTML page, but markdown is very simple. It's easy to understand. So Jekyll makes use of markdown to write all the posts. So markdown will uh, have uh, a H1 which looks like this, a hash. That means H1. Whatever you write in front of it, it will be H1. Um, so if you want to see it in action, we should be you know, creating a file in markdown so let's create a file called project dot md you can name it dot md or dot markdown uh, the complete name i'm just gonna do dot md that, that is enough so we have to use a similar kind of front matter uh, as we did for other other html pages a layout i'm using default and uh, title we need it uh, projects uh, maybe we, sh we can use page layout uh, we can use page because it has a h1 i mean it shows which page it is in big titles now how do you use markdown here so as i said a hash means h1 A triple h3 and so on now uh, till h6 uh, now uh, let's say we want bold this is bold this is italics this uh, tick is code uh, if you don't know where tick is uh, it's above the tab key on most of the computers now um, after that we can make links using uh, this so whatever you want to see as a text so this is a link text uh, this is uh, the link now that is a link if you want to uh, show an image uh, it's it's very simple just add an exclamation before uh, the link so this is alt tag of image whatever you type here that will be an alt tag and now path to the image um, i can i can also insert an image right away uh, probably i have kept one open so this is this is a new url uh, and i i can uh, you know, put it here it, it can use url as well now that is an image and uh, um, I think this should be enough so if you want to see this in action uh, we can uh, can go back and uh, type project okay so we have project.html if you if you look at the you know uh, look at our uh, project folder or directory we don't have project.html we have project.md but it will be created for you by Jekyll so if you go inside site so this folder site is where all the rendered content is so this is created by uh, Jekyll you don't have to you know, change anything here if you look at it there is a page created for you so that has converted the h1 h2 and h3 it also added some ids so this is what it has created so if you look at the projects page it has uh, you know the um, you know it is using page layout so this is h1 h2 s3 bold um, i think bold um, we should use two stars and yeah, i'm just gonna change it so i think one star is for italics should use two stars uh, i think italics can be done with uh, underscore and also one star um, okay that works now it is bold italics and this is code uh, code I think uses some monospace text this is link which is linked to link 
I think I, I gave some URL probably nothing now this is the image that is you know uh, captured from here uh, it is showing that image right here this is how markdown can be used in Jekyll so thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye